Hi everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome back to another Snuff Impressions. This is one that's very near and dear to me. It's one of my favorites. It's Gletschepreise by Purschel. Don't mind the voice today. I've got a little bit of a cold going on that I'm coming off of, but I'm all better. It's just a little tickle in the back of my throat. It's gonna make me sound a little bit weird. I am fully capable of giving you my thoughts on this. The packaging for Gletschepreise is a beautiful, very clean blue, white, and navy tap box. I really like Purschel snuffs. I really like tap boxes. I think they're one of the cleanest ways to take snuff. And this is one that I have about every week, every so often, even when I'm not taking snuff. This is one I go back to. So this is not strictly a first impressions, and I did have a video on this snuff a long time ago, but it's been a while since I've really dug deep into it and put my thoughts in order about it, because there's a lot going on to this, despite being a, on the surface, very heavily mentholated, uh, medicated type of snuff. The brand Perschel specializes in these types of heavily medicated, let's call them continental style snuffs. They have a lot of menthol in them. As a general rule, they are all lightly oiled with paraffin. Uh, paraffin, maybe not the right word. Um, petroleum. That's, that's not the right word either. What's the mineral oil? Food safe mineral oil. A lot of Perschel snuffs have it. Their Schmalzlers also have mineral oil, but those are a different thing entirely. And we're talking about snuff today. This kind of keeps it nice and fresh. This gives it a good nose feel, a little bit heavy for daily use, but still pleasant to use from my experience. Let's talk about the aroma from that little hole inside the center. I'll give you my thoughts on that. There's menthol in this, there's eucalyptus in this as well. With Gletchapriza and with a lot of other Purschel snuffs, there's some kind of deep meaty flavor in there. Isn't meaty also the wrong word? It's um, very close to leather. Almost like food, not buttery like an English snuff. I don't know how to place that smell. It's very, very close to leather. It's in the background. The birds, squirrels, ducking and chirping outside too. It's a very loud day. Sorry about that. The background note behind the camphor, behind the eucalyptus, behind the menthol, it's, um... It's a little like pork not like bacon or not like cured ham or anything like that. It's just like, just like roasted pork skin, if that makes any sense. Like a dry, meaty kind of scent in the background. Almost like an overcooked pork chop. It's not an unpleasant smell by any regard. It's just a, it's just a really weird one to describe if you If you never had pork or never knew the smell I was talking about, you'd probably place it as leather, but it's not quite that. It, it really does lean a little closer to what I'm talking about. That's fine. I know this is already delicious. There is no need to go on about how it smells to us because things might change once it's in the nose. Let's take a look at the texture. Continental style snuff, so Perschel, Bernard some English snuffs made in the style as well, are going to have this really nice medium to coarse grind, very fluffy from Perschel as well. The grains are, are a little bit flatter, a little bit like the tobacco is shredded, although this is truly ground, but it means that it has more body to it. Not in terms of smell, just it's, it's more voluminous for the actual amount that you're taking. Cheers, this should be good. Super easy to take, menthol punch, but nothing overwhelming here. Which is something I like about Gletchapriza. Never catches me off guard, if you will. Again, it's got a lot of menthol, 
It's got a lot of eucalyptus. Not overwhelming, like we talked about. I'm not feeling blown back like I can be with English-style snuffs or toasts or anything like that. It's just a very calm sort of snuff. Not weak in the nicotine department, not strong either, let's make that clear. But it's just very mild, very pleasant, very nice to take. This is a snuff you can take at any time of day if you're a menthol head. And even if you're not a menthol head, you can have it pretty often like I can. What else can I say about it? <sighs> There's something woodsy behind it. I've placed this kind of smell as like a um, cedar wood note, sort of, and I do have a video on recreating this stuff, and I do use cedar wood oil in that. But a lot of people think that uh, Douglas fir oil is used in this as well. Perchel in their advertising says that Columbus oil is inside this, and Columbus or Cologne seems to be some type of fur, although there are some differing opinions on what that might actually be. I don't remember off the top of my head. And the closest thing that it smells like to me is cedar, maybe like spruce extract, not piney. Spruce extract is a little bit like a sort of closer to the berry notes in a juniper berry. But that's behind the menthol, behind the camphor, behind the eucalyptus, which is soft coming, but it's still very strong, very present. And if you get this snuff, then that's you should know that that's what you're going to be getting into with this. And there shouldn't be any surprise. <sighs> nicotine fill. Nicotine fill? Nicotine feel with partial snuffs is kind of weird, right? These don't have a fantastically strong punch to them but they are really easy to take in quantity, and if you do take it in quantity, I'll get another toot here, one moment. I barely, oh my goodness. Well, I'll show you how easy it is to take. And it's all gone. Hardly a whimper. Because this stuff is so easy to take, the nicotine just builds and builds and builds and builds and builds because with snuff, uh, the stuff kind of hangs around in your nose for a while and it sits there kind of like snooze does in the upper lip or dip in the lower lip or something like that. So as you continue taking snuff throughout the day, your plasma level concentrations and your blood of nicotine will continue to build and build and build and build until you blow your nose or rinse your nose out at the end of the day, which is pretty nice. It does mean that this stuff is a good tool for smoking secession if you still smoke cigarettes in the year 2023. <sighs> Definitely want to take it home or with a mirror nearby because this stuff can get a little bit messy on the nose. <sighs> Fantastic stuff. Something vaguely berry-ish, but it's not berry. It does come from that wood note. And that's it. It's a fantastic little snuff that I would recommend everybody who's into... Ooh, I shook the table there. I'd recommend that everybody who is either beginning with snuffs or who is into snuff but hasn't tried this one to go out and get yourself a little tin. Another nice thing about this is it's one of the most available snuffs in Europe and the rest of the world. If you have a snuff website that you order snuff from, very good chance that this is on there and that it's affordable. Anyways, my final thoughts are that you should pick this up if you haven't tried it, and if you haven't had it in a while, you should pick it up again and have yourself a couple pinches. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.